people, this is Ty and I'm in snowy, cold London outside Rich Mix and I'm here to talk about the new album, A Special Kind of Fool. Just gonna vibe with you about it, we to take some photos and also shoot a little EPK, kind of telling you a little bit about the album and the process and the reasons why I did it. So I hope you enjoy it because it's cold, I'm freezing, I want to go inside. What are you saying? Let's go. Especially with the night victims that never stood a chance, but people can't speak from the heart. Worry that the truth might set them apart. Yes, sir, free bags, full set, anything you need, hurry up, just put me in the dark. This is my fourth album. It's a really special album for me. I've done four, uh, three albums previously. I was on um, Big Dada. It was a big, it was a big look for me. I really appreciate that uh, opportunity. But this is the fourth, and this is BBE. My connection with BBE was really interesting. Um, I don't know if I can say this on camera, but um, a particular member of the company is diabetic, and he became diabetic when I was just because I just become diagnosed diabetic. I think a couple six months or a year afterwards and me and him had actually never actually really spoken in real life and then he heard I was diabetic and then reached out to me and was like you know you're taking care of yourself blah 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 because you know and it is a common thing amongst diabetics to kind of how you do get the diabetic phone call from your peers just to check that you're doing all right and when I when he heard that I was basically free to do an album and I was no longer with Big Dada he was like you know bring it over here so we did it but I had to go through something with my record and with my life in order to feel uh, comfortable enough or to be enthusiastic about making music because diabetes can really throw you off track mentally we really have enjoyed this particular process of doing the album this this album was was built out of just basically going through a set of emotions and feelings and taking, being positive about music. I would say all of the stuff that I was going through, that we all go through as adults, as people on the planet, as a member of a society in any country, definitely influenced this record. Um, I was ill, I nearly, something nearly happened that was quite serious. And um, I became very serious about, well, if I don't have that much time, left to do to be effective or to actually um, have a document that is a, that is something that i can say i'm happy with i need to start doing it now stop playing around making songs that don't mean anything if you can do it now as far as collaborations um and people that uh, contribute to my record i really wanted people that would make sense for the actual song so i wasn't really on an ego thing i really just wanted people that really made sense for the song so with that in mind i'm joined on this album by eric rico anthony mills carol thompson terry walker serena lee and all of these people came through and you know would be on one song and then do a little bit on another song so it was kind of really um it really wasn't just about just coming on and being on a record it was about a group collaborative situations so with the new album special kind of fool we had like we had so many um, other albums before that with Big Dada and Ninja Tunes that we wanted to go with a new look, a new realm, a new road. So BBE was that definitely that option, and they've been really supportive. And with that, also we forged new relationships with people that we really liked. And um, Adidas was just absolutely. That's what I, I love. What I love Adidas. Anyone that knows me knows I wear stuff all the time, and I wanted to basically get a pair of fresh original stuff because I'm original myself. So they offered me this range called My Originals. We will definitely be touring in 2010. Um, the tours are gonna really start once we start putting out the first single, which is Emotions. The things that I enjoy the most are being in the studio, is making the music at home, and also being on stage. That's my two places where I'm at home. Everywhere else is a job. And I can't wait to come back. If you're starting this game now musically, and you're doing what you're you're doing. Um, I would say take the time out to just be in love with making music. That's it. It's just up here to me. anybody that wants to see something else. If you want to hear something else other than the generic what you hear on the radio, other than what you're being told, like oh this is commercial, this is what I got something for you. Special kind of thing. If I was fired into deep space, knowing my luck, it would be next to a monkey. So, I will say that I would take a Stevie Wonder 
uh, greatest hits. I would take the Key of Life or uh, anything like that. And I would take some jerk chicken seasoning for that monkey, because it's not gonna make it. It might take a few of mine. It might take a few of yours.